Good afternoon from Itaewon. So this is an area in Seoul where many expats and foreigners decide to call home and live in. And yeah, I'm gonna explore this district today. I don't have an agenda as usual, but we'll see what we get into. So there is a, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but Itaewon Antique Furniture Street. I don't know if it's over there or over here. I think it might be over there, but I think I will explore there. There's also an Itaewon uh, Market. And so yeah, let's check it out. I also, on the agenda, need to get some food. So, let's go. So right off the bat, I've seen like three kebab spots here in uh, Itawan as soon as I got off the metro station. And it seems like there are a lot of really cool little roads to walk down. It seems to be a pretty big area. Like if you look at the map area-wise, it seems to be pretty big. There's a lot going on down this side road here. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna try to figure out where the best place to wander would be. Ooh, good bread. Looks good. <laughs> Literally. Some ramen shops here. Looks like we have roadside clothing for sale here as well. And yeah, it looks like almost like a thrift shop vibe. Yeah, it's vintage, vintage, nice. Nice, I don't see too many vintage stores over here in Asia. Or maybe I just haven't looked hard enough, but you see them all over the place in America. So it's cool. But yeah, I think I'll make my way to the market, which should be down here. Ah, this is cool. It will be in a warm climate for the rest of the year, following Seoul, so I do not need a jacket. You know, growing up in Pennsylvania, and then living in Colorado, and then living in the DC area, I don't really miss the cold. I think, I, I think I'm a warm climate guy from this point forward in my life, but hey, who knows, things can change. But I think I prefer the warm climate. It's a cool hotel up there. Oh, this is a cool spot, guys. Initial vibe, it's hard to just make this judgment call having been here only 10, 15 minutes, but I can see the appeal for expats in Itawan. This is where the majority of them go. You know, people who teach English, people who work here in tech, who are who have immigrated here or moved here, typically live in Itawan. Oh, green grape juice, that looks really good. By the way, the grapes here in South Korea are insane. They're like insanely good. Okay, so I'm at this plateau here. So we got the movie, uh, the show Suits, I believe is there. Anyway, so I'm at this plateau here and I think the Itawan Market is right up here. So I don't know what we can find at the Itawan Market, but maybe some food, probably clothing if I'm just guessing. Close every Tuesday. Today is Sunday. So yeah, here we go. Itawan Market Co. Oh, interesting. All right, so you come in here and you've got all sorts of clothing items. But it looks like there's an underground market Let's see what the underground market looks like, guys. Ah, uh, yeah, lots of clothing. I think I'm going to make my way over to the antique furniture streets. Because that sounds like something you don't see every day. So, I'm noticing there's just like a bunch of little alleyways here. I have like a bunch of shops and restaurants, things like that. So cool. So, yeah, cool coffee shop here on the side of the road. And I believe I'm on Antique Street or like about to be there. Because every shop appears to be an Antique Street. Yeah, okay. Antique shop. Eats one. Antique and vintage street. Ah, the lighting. 
Maybe you can't read that. There it is. Cool. It's like a Harry Potter vibe. Oh, that is so cool. Knock, knock. I think there's like a vintage video game playing in there. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, look, Antique Street. That's sick. Oh, it's so vintage here, guys. Wow. Some more if recording is allowed here. Vintage and mid-century. There's an antique center up there. Wow. Brocante. It's either brocante or brocante. A jester here. Court jester. The way the street is designed is so cool. You can see you've got like places to sit. All right, well, it's hot and I've seen the ciders everywhere. So let me try this cider. It's from Lotte or Latte. I don't know how to pronounce it. I should, I should look it up. Let's give it a shot. You know what? It's like Sprite. It's like the soda Sprite. You know what guys, this whole area here is uh, the Itawan Antique and Vintage Street. It pretty much encompasses the whole area. If you just bring up the map, you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, really cool spot. Look at this, like vintage threads in here. Every shop is like really nicely designed. Oh, this looks like a really cool coffee shop. And probably a place to get some drinks. Okay, we've got like a really, this is a really trendy place, guys. Alta, Alt.A is a plant-based restaurant that has like Asian cuisine. Cool, cool. I used to be vegan, no longer. Now I eat whatever I want, but every now and then I like to go get a plant-based or vegan meal. Oh man, this store just looks amazing. So many things, I don't want to film in this store. I don't want to break anything, number one. Number two, I don't know if you can. This feels like a place where I could find an area or a restaurant to sit outside, have a drink, have a meal. Maybe we do that. Oh, another uh, plant-based restaurant, I believe. Yeah, 100% vegan. Oh, I haven't had kombucha in a while. I used to love kombucha. Okay, so, Itawan's a big place. I might end up getting on the metro again and exploring a different area of Itawan. This is at Itawan Station. Also, the Korea War Memorial, or War Museum, is here as well. Uh, kind of on the edge of Itawan. I'm sure this area gets pretty, pretty wild here at night. Looks like just like a stretch of bars. <laughs> I think there's one that might be open right now that has outdoor seating. I'm really feeling like an outdoor seat. I'm also been holding out to try a specific type of uh, Korean uh, alcohol that I have not yet had. Oh, that looks really cool up there. Maybe we'll go there. But I really need food. I mean, look at this, this just looks really sick. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. This is a really cool area, guys. Day and night lounge. Looks very busy here. Oh, I think it's Korean barbecue. You know, I have not had a Korean barbecue in Korea yet. 
Hmm. Do we do this? Ooh, maybe we go for an audible here. I don't know. Let me see what's down here. I hear music. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. The problem is there's so much music playing. Oh, it's a boutique lounge. Okay, yeah, audible. We go Korean barbecue at the Maple House. Eh, it seems to be affordably priced for probably what you get. Hello. Okay, guys, well, of course we've got some music going, so I don't know how much of this is going to get in, but this is Makgoli. This is a Korean uh, alcohol I wanted to try. I also got uh, marinated pork ribs. Short, or no, marinated collar, pork collar. So let me get this uh, open here. Looks like we got some water there. I've only done barbecue like this one time in Vietnam, so we'll see how it goes, but it's like a, it's like a white liquid. I'm expecting it to be sweet. I would say it's subtly sweet. It's sweeter than um, soju. I won't be drinking that whole bottle, I don't think so. I gotta get back. Well, it's good. It's almost like a, I taste like a banana. I know it's not made from banana, but I taste like a banana. Oh, it's very good. I think this is my favorite. I've had the raspberry wine, rice wine. I've had the soju. And now this, I think this is my favorite of all of them. Hey guys, as always, you start the meal here, meals here in Korea start off with all these dishes. So kimchi, assuming this is, might be tofu. I don't know what this is. A nice salad that looks like some other pickled vegetable, lettuce, and some sauces. Let's try this one first. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's tofu. Oh, I love tofu. All right. Use my chopsticks for this one. Mm, sweet. Cool. Yeah, it's so good. Mm. Curious to see what kind of dressing is on this uh, salad here. Blue cheese. Not really a blue cheese guy. Kimchi is good as always. This one I haven't tried anywhere, but I always see it served with the meal. I don't know. Okay, it looks like my uh, meat is starting to get grilled here. They put it on for me. I'm not sure. I guess I flip it. I don't know. But this is a good experience. I'd prefer them to do it because I don't know. But I'll do it if I have to. Uh, all this stuff is amazing. Uh, the uh, employee's been uh, grilling it for me, so I'm sure it'll be great. There's, this also is not water, so let's see what this is. Some type of tea, I guess. Doesn't really have a taste. Hey, I've been informed that this is good to eat. So, let me uh, set my camera up here. My camera's probably gonna overheat because it's right near the grill, but let's give one a shot here. Oh. Oh man. The marinade. It's a little sweet, a little tangy. It's not overpowering. The pork collar was very fatty. Mm. One of these onions. 
Oh my god. Okay, they brought me dessert. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is it? Like plum or apple? Oh my god, that's like the sweetest thing you ever had. All right, well I definitely recommend you check out Maple Tree Korean Barbecue. Yeah, it's a good experience. So yeah, it's only a 15 minute walk to where I'd like to go. So I'm gonna take a nice 15 minute stroll here down Itaewon Street. And yeah, this is super trendy, guys. I don't know if it's, you know, it's definitely not Gangnam trendy. That's more like Lux, but this is like, yeah, foreigner trendy, I would say. Like, what does it remind me of? Kind of like Brooklyn. If you've ever been to Brooklyn in New York City, yeah, it kind of reminds me of Brooklyn a bit. All right, let's get across here. Do I go down, I just ran, do I go down that street or this street? I feel like there'd be something cool down th that street, but we'll stick to the course here and walk down Itawan Street. Goose Island, haven't seen that beer company in a while. You don't see it over here very much, in Asia that is. But yeah, you can get yourself one of those. India Pale Ale. So guys, there's this uh, Da Vinci Motel. It looks like an open, open air uh, coffee spot here. And I guess the Da Vinci Motel is over there, which is really cool, but I will not go get a coffee because music, oh, maybe I will. I don't know. Should I? Hmm. Maybe they have like a cookie or something. Okay guys, so what I ended up getting is a matcha chocolate cake roll. I, ask, I always like to ask, like, what is the most popular? And, uh, yeah, we're gonna try this. I don't know if I'll eat the whole thing. Oh. Oh, it's cold. I like when cake is cold. It's almost like a ice cream effect. Mm. The matcha is, like, very subtle. It's more chocolate. Boy, if I can get this video uploaded with the amount of copyright music I've been encountering, it will be a miracle. I might have to do a rare voiceover for this video. We'll see. I don't like doing this. Ah, look, just as you walk down the street, first, it's pretty popular here on a Sunday. But as you walk down the street, you've got like uh, so many cool restaurants and shops and bars, and things to do. Yeah, this Da Vinci Motel seems to be very cool. Reminds me of like a, um, LA, California. Actually, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a Las Vegas motel. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, this is like a Las Vegas motel. Like one of the old school ones, like the 70s Vegas motels that you have to check into after a degenerate night of gambling. That's what this feels like. And you can see here we have a Maserati dealer. See the Maserati sitting out here. Now I wouldn't say, oh this is definitely not Gangnam affluent, but I will say, I do think there is some affluence here. Yeah. It's definitely, definitely different than where I'm staying. I'm staying near Chungmuro Station in Maindong. Main Maindong. Uh, and that feels more like downtown city a lot of factories I've noticed, but here it's a bit different. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder what it is over here. Whoa. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay. Looks like you can get some pizza here. Passion 5. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Whoa. That is so cool. It appears at the bookstore I've been looking for is at the, the third floor of this place called Blue Square. So why don't we check out Blue Square? Yeah, book park, book park lounge. That's what I'm looking for. This looks really cool, guys. 
Okay, so Book Park Lounge. And yeah, I mean, here it is. I don't know if you can buy actual books here. But wow, look at this, it goes all the way down. So, let's go up. I read that it was on the third floor, but it seems like this whole area. Book Park? Okay, right, thank you, thank you. Oh, nice lady. Okay. Oh man, this is the second really cool bookstore that I've seen in South Korea. Okay, so it is a paid lounge. And since I don't really have a lot of lounging to do, I think I will skip that, but I was looking to do some book shopping. It's a book I'm looking for, but oh well, it's not in the cards. Okay, so then let's tour the rest of this mall. So that is the book lounge, and it's a paid lounge. It's, she said it's like a library, which is cool, but you have all these like boutique shops here as well, and you can also get something from the cafe. Seems like a nice seating area here. I also noticed there's a musical lounge, I believe is what it was, or a musical store. I think it's a music lounge. But it's a super cool area, guys. Oh, and then there's like a, oh, an auditorium, a ticket box. I wonder what's over here. Okay. Oh, it's a musical. Oh, you can see a play. You can see a musical here. Ah, and of course we're in Seoul, so everything's high tech, right? So you can just order the tickets right from the machines there. And that music hall looks super cool. I guess Das Musical, Re Rebecca. Das Musical. So you can see right now. I don't know. Seems cool, guys. Okay guys, well, I believe this is how I get back to Changmuro. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me ask you, if you're an expat, would you live here in Itaewon? I think many people choose to make this their home. So let me know, what do you think? All right, thank you so much. And I'm gonna certainly be talking to you again soon, peace.